Welcome back to City Skylines, but this time we're doing things a little different. We're on Mars. Earth has just finally gotten so bad that they've sent us to Mars, and it's our job to set up the first colony. Now, this is a research station, and so there's a few wind conditions attached to this. If you guys want to play this scenario, it will be in the description below. But we have 180 weeks to grow our population to 15,000, and also build a university so our scientists can do their research. But let's get on with it. So first we have 60,000. We are at a deficit right now, losing money per week. But unfortunately, if we take out a loan, we lose as well. So we have to make do with what resources we brought from Earth. So we'll start just like any city skylines game and make sure that our demands are being met. And that begins with our residential zoning. So as of now, this is what we've got so far. What we'll do is we'll just keep expanding this out and we'll start introducing asphalt to Mars because these gravel roads aren't gonna support a population of 15,000. But we'll just begin to frame in the other side here. And since we need so much population, I'm going to focus on high density zoning mostly. Who's moving to Mars and building like a single family house? Next thing we need to look at is how much cash is leaving the city. This power plant produces 160 megawatts. And if we look at our consumption, we're only taking in 10. So if we go to our economy and to our budget, we can actually lower our electricity usage down pretty much as low as it'll go. And checking water, same thing is true. So we'll just bring that down all the way. You'll notice that our drainage pump is right next to our water pumps, which will be an issue. We'll solve that eventually. And with those two things set up, let's go ahead and start time. Unfortunately, it's not bringing down our expenses too much, but we are getting plenty of new move-ins. Looks like we're going to need some more, so let's continue framing this out. And something like that will do the trick, so let's go ahead and get that zoned. Traffic is going to be an issue. So for these most used roads, I'm going to turn them into asphalt. Looks like we didn't set up our garbage system. Let's take care of that as well. Let's go ahead and place it next to our power. We'll of course have to connect it with some roads. All right, so the main issue is we need to figure out how to bring our costs down and become positive or else we're going to lose this challenge right off the bat. So unfortunately, the first thing that's going to change is we're going to have to raise taxes. It looks like our most expensive feature is our public transportation, which I assume is going to be the trains. If we come back into our budget, we have our transportation here. Looks like it is the train that is taking all of our money. Let's bring that down to 50% and see if that helps. And then once we've done that, let's see if we can get some industry in here. So if we look at our trains, this is how things get in and out of the city. I assume it's going off into a space elevator somewhere. Our industrial stuff is going to come through this one and our residential stuff is going to come through here. So that means we need to connect our industry to here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come off the back of it and we'll bring a road down behind the residential area. This will allow people to get to work easily as well as connect it directly to the railway. Not sure what they can do with these little strips, but we do need more residential, so we'll fill that spot in with it. And I think that should be good for now. Only have 20,000 left and we're losing quite a bit per week. But once this industry comes in, that should give us a little bit more in taxes. And it looks like people are dying in businesses. Not sure how many deaths occur while people are just chilling, getting some ice cream. I guess there are a few here in the city as well. Oh, and people are getting sick. We're going to have to build a cemetery over by the landfill, I guess. But that took almost all of our money, so I don't know if we're going to make it. Everyone is sick and everyone is dying. And we're almost out of money, so in a last-ditch effort, I'm going to turn taxes way up. And yes, we're positive, barely. So we need to make enough money to clean our water. It looks like that's going to cost 15000 The issue is this water is already polluted, so even if I were to get rid of the pump, that pollution still has to work its way out. I honestly don't know what to do. Do I build? Nope. I don't even have enough for a medical clinic. And so people are finally officially leaving the city. I don't know if this is them leaving or dying. It could be either one. Turns out if you drink your own poop on Mars, things don't go too well. Well, let's try that again. Who knew colonizing Mars was going to be so hard? This time, right from the get-go, I'm going to turn taxes up definitely higher than we did at the start last time. So hopefully we can get positive faster and be able to take care of that water situation. Then we'll go into budget, we'll go ahead and lower our power usage, as well as our public transportation. And then we'll go turn off one of these water pumping stations. Actually, I'm going to solve this from the very beginning. And instead of having this setup that it gave us from the beginning, we're going to change that. We're going to get rid of our water dump here. And then we're going to place a water treatment plant somewhere far away from our farming. And we can actually do that up by our power. And that should keep our population from, you know, growing mutations. But with that out of the way, let's get on to zoning a residential like we did before. 
that and that. I usually like to keep my industrial zones separated more, but there just isn't a lot of space and it should help with like travel time doing it this way. Last thing is we'll come and fill in some of this commercial zoning. And with that, I think we're good to go. I don't know, we'll find out if this is any better. Oh, one last thing. I don't think this needs to be connected with roads yet, but we did need to get some garbage. Oh, yeah, speak of the devil. So let's get that taken care of real fast. There's one thing we came to Mars to do, it's to pollute everything. And already we're almost positive, so yes, this is going so much better. Hopefully they don't mind the high taxes though. Yep, and already they're complaining about taxes. So let's bring it down just a tinge, because if you raise the taxes high and then bring them down lower, people are happy with it, right? Things are on fire. We do have a fire station, don't we? We do. We have one. Every game I play, if you go back and watch my other ones, just something has to be on fire. There we go. Taking care of things. Good job, boys. Now it's like the 30 minute trek back to your station. And we're positive already. We still have 40,000. Second time's the charm. So since we're positive and we have this extra money, I want to change these roads to be asphalt. That way our emergency vehicles can get around faster and our farmers can come and drop off their food. Not sure why we're exporting it, but that's okay. And then I'm just going to do kind of the main strips that's a little bit better there and it does seem like our demand for residential is going up i think that should do the trick for a while oh trains are just uh going into each other over here we might need to fix this oh yeah that's gonna get backed up real fast they can't go on the back side i connected it back here so i don't know why they're not going that way it brings a hot dog truck to mars bro so maybe something like that will do a little bit better and come up and over the bridge and then into the main area of the city we'll find out the next time a train comes though and actually if you look at our money we are flying now also it looks like they're using this little strip for storage. I guess that's what grows on just the rows. Uh, it gets built on the one square areas. Some people are starting to die. Not a good sign. First thing you can see when you come to Mars is the graveyard and how low of a chance it is that you'll actually survive. Now again, our goals are to grow our population to 15,000 within 180 weeks. Honestly, don't even know what week we're on. And then we need to build a university, which costs quite a bit of money. Let's focus on population first because that'll solve our money issues. Everything that we've zoned is pretty much filled in, so we'll need to continue that. So we just connected to our commercial zone. We'll fill this in with residential. We'll keep this top part industry for now we're getting 200 people a week now so what we want to shoot for is staying above 100 basically we have dropped below 100 people moving in a week i don't know if that's more to do with space or desirability of our city let's solve the space issue first we'll add a large new section to the city build that all in with residential and then let's get some amenities in here i think we could do with an elementary school or two there seems like a good spot. Other things we can add is maybe a park or two. We are trying to terraform Mars after all. It looks like they all cost the same for upkeep, so let's go with this big park here. And then we'll place that right in our commercial zone. There we go. Now we're over 100 again. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and fill this out with asphalt. Now traffic should run just a little bit smoother. Um, Looks like their <laughs> propane is getting stolen. I guess crime on Mars might look a little different than crime on Earth, right? Now, if we want to monetize this farming over here, they don't actually have a main building. So while we're still positive, I'm going to see if we can make use of this. We'll just find a place to put the main building down. And with that, that gives us access to some fields that we can put down. Never decided to make this a circle. Uh, not the best for square fields, uh, but that's taken pretty much all of my money. So hopefully that'll do its thing. I don't know exactly how this works. Right now we're not even making profits from it. So hopefully that changes soon. <laughs> it's like we're in need of more commercial zoning. We'll have to continue to fill this area out. And I think doing something like that should work. Just fill these in a bit. And we still have more people that want to move in. So we'll just continue expanding in the same way that we've been doing. We are reaching the point where too many people are getting sick for our medical clinic to keep up with. I don't know. Yeah, we can't even build another one. So they're just going to have to hold on for a bit. Well, I'm still waiting to get to 10,000 so I can take care of these sick people. Oh, it went away, but uh, these didn't have power for a second. So I might have to raise. Yeah, so there it is again. So we're going to go back into our budget. We're going to raise our power back up. But looking at our build. Buildings. We need more education to upgrade them, which will allow more people to move into our city. The issue is we're making a lot of money. It's just, just not enough. We got people sick. We got people that need to be educated. In fact, if you look at where this is, this is why you usually don't put your industry next to your residential zoning. Is because this pollution is uh, doing quite a bit to them. Don't know if there's a way to fix that. I mean, we could try to get rid of this line of buildings. So I'm going to slowly 
get rid of sections of this. Start with this side over here. Industry is kind of filled up over here anyways. So we need to start expanding somewhere else. So we'll start a new industry area on the other side of the tracks. So I created this new section here, which will allow me to get rid of half of the industry here. That way not so many people will get sick and use my money elsewhere instead of on hospitals. And what I can replace it with is I can replace it with a bunch of low density commercial because I don't think they're affected by pollution. I now have a decent amount of cash. So I have enough to build another school. The question is, do I build another elementary school and try to bump this number up? Or do I instead add a high school? Are adults going to these elementary schools? Is that what's happening? I think first and foremost, especially since this costs less, let's do some elementary schools and we'll put them in the newer sections of the city. And then when we have enough, we can go for high school and finally university, which is our ultimate goal in finishing this challenge. Traffic is getting pretty bad through here. I'm not exactly sure how to resolve it. I think what I might do is is wait a second why aren't you guys using this road all right i'm gonna i'm gonna fix this this road goes away so all these cars will now go up and over and then down so at the very least we'll let people get out of the train station and then if i can make a few more junctions that connect around so let's connect through there then we'll also connect through here not sure making a five point intersection is the best idea but hopefully it'll alleviate some of the traffic oh my goodness i didn't even realize we have forty four thousand dollars. so let's continue our education we'll put in a high school now and that can go on this new road that we created. So I put it in the one spot that didn't have water. <laughs> Interesting to note that the buildings in the polluted areas actually seem to look more polluted. Or is it just the building type? Am I the only one seeing that? Making seven grand a week. We'll be able to get to the university soon. But to do that, we need to continue to build out our residences. There are a lot of people coming to Mars, apparently. I don't know what's happening on Earth. At the beginning of this, this farmland looks so far away from the rest of the city, but now we're zoning in right next to it. Nothing's going to stop the colonization of Mars. And what I am very surprised about is that crime rate is at 6%, and we only have a single police station. What I'm going to do is, oh my gosh, we're almost making 10 grand a week. Yeah, okay, we're going to be at the university in no time. Oh, I didn't get, wait, I think it's finally time to turn this second pump back on. Yeah, we're in the yellow, so if I press play here, should pop back up into the green yeah there we go it was treatments getting low too so before that becomes an issue let's place a second one oh we're polluting mars so bad but not my problem they just asked me to get people here and build a university so that's what i'm gonna do all right we finally have enough for a university let's go ahead and place that down so when you come in you'll hit terrible traffic you'll have to watch all the people that have died though apparently there's not that many of them and then you'll have to drive right by another kind of graveyard please subscribe so i could drop out but that's one of two objectives complete. Now all we have to do is grow the city to the point where we have 15,000 people. We're growing quite well, 200 people a week, which should reach our goal. I honestly don't know how long we've been at it. I could calculate it, but uh, I'm too lazy. I like to roll the dice and see, see if we make it or not. Also inside our high density residential, we just have these giant windmills from before. I'm not going to change that. It's just going to stay there. Uh, hazards or no. Us Martians, we have to do what we must. Biggest demand is commercial. Uh, wish we could put in high density. We might get the point that we could try it. We'll test these, these four and see how that goes. But let's take a look at our buildings and see what they need to get to the next level. Yeah, they just need more stuff students. We have plenty of money. So it looks like we need another high school there in the red. So place it down to the university so they can look forward to always being in school forever. We just need another elementary school. So let's get that down. And why not? Let's let's continue the trend. We'll have an elementary school and then you can go to high school and then you can go to university. The circle of life. Now all I need to do is put a graveyard right here. It looks like the high density commercial. Three out of six workers. Do you mean that this whole building is just has six people that work there? This one has four. I mean that these are like one? This is four out of four. How does that work? So I think since our education is fairly good, it's time to start putting in that high density stuff. Hopefully this isn't a mistake. It probably is because this drugstore doesn't even have enough educated workers to have their staff filled. But progress we must. I love how this area here just has dirt still. At this point I'm just gonna leave them. So it seems these storage tanks are complaining about high taxes. Uh... What's this one? The one that looks like a friggin' rocket. I guess we'll do what it wants, because, uh, honestly, I'm kind of flying when it comes to money. Oh, we do need more industrial areas, so let's go ahead and add this one over here. I think that should tide us over for a while. What I am surprised is that we haven't had to get more electricity yet. 
I mean, we're getting pretty close, but we're still making it work. Now, what would be funny is if we got a coal generator, because there is no coal on Mars, because there's no, like, carbon-based life forms to turn into coal. Looks like this area is running out of space for more residences. Um, best thing would be to be able to upgrade these. Still waiting on education to fill that out. High school is completely good. Guess if we had one more elementary school. So now we have elementary school all the way up, high school all the way up, and university. I could put some public libraries in. But first what I'm going to do is expand this around over here. Because having space available is probably going to do more for us than anything else. I'm going to keep this area because it makes sense in context of the challenge being on Mars. But if it weren't for that, I'd probably just get rid of it we'll continue to keep this area commercial we'll just have this kind of slip out this way and then start a new section of grid and then i'm gonna fill this in with high density commercial we'll see how it goes but this has worked out pretty good like well okay maybe not oh well this will just incentivize people to go and get educated speaking of which we need to put some elementary schools in this area and we'll add another high school on this side as well and that took all of my money but we're two-thirds of the way there but what we're not two-thirds of the way at is my subscribers the goal is a thousand by the end of the year and we're getting uh getting close there a lot of you guys have been wondering why i don't have more subscribers it just comes down to the algorithm choosing to send my stuff out there and what helps most with that if you care to help is going to be leaving a like on the video and of course if you haven't subscribed yet subscribe what are you waiting for for. Anyways, enough of that. Main thing is I'm just glad you guys like my content. Now, traffic might finally be becoming an issue. This is the five-point intersection that I set up earlier, and as you can imagine, it's not quite working as well as it should. And again, it's it's whenever a train comes in that uh, it causes the most issue, uh, like right now. So apparently they're not able to clear out before the next one comes. But at this point, uh, I don't know if I can undo this. Is trying to put in a roundabout here would be a uh, bit of a hassle since we have the university right here. Which I mean, I've got another 4,000 people to go, and I wanna wanna leave Mars the best I can. So let's go ahead and try it. Move our university over to this section, and then we'll probably have to relocate this giant park as well. A lot of people were unhappy about that. We'll turn it into a big roundabout. It would make RCE proud, right? Okay, so buildings removed. Let's pause this and demolish all of these roads. Now, rather than use the pre-built roundabout because it's massive, I'm going to create one by hand. And if you've seen my other city skylines, you know I like to build highways and things. So for the two-lane road that we can start curving here. I'm going to try my best to make this actually a circle, but no promises. I'd say that's good enough. Then all we have to do is connect our roads back up. We'll just make this a giant roundabout. We got one, two, three, four, five, six lanes of traffic entering it. We can put our park back in. It's right in there. Back to be commercial, but we don't want anything on the circle itself or else that'll slow down traffic. Go ahead and press play and see how this plays out. Already this seems to be working a bit better. I mean, it's still, still slow. This backed up traffic just needs to work itself out and then I think we should be good. Oh no, looks like our crime might be catching up with us. Someone is stealing, um, a billboard? Bro, what is this? Also, why an industrial farmland? Is it like one of the main buildings is a billboard? And why does it take so much space? Uh, let's check in on the traffic, shall we? Oh gosh. So at least emergency vehicles can get to places, uh, but no one else is moving using the inside lane. Oh, it's backed up all the way to here. Also, I guess the trains are bringing cars with them. No, they're not bringing cars, they're bringing friggin' donut trucks. <laughs> bringing the essentials with us to Mars. Literally no one's moving, why? Was it pedestrians? Is that why? Yeah, it's just a free-for-all. I need to make this like a highway so pedestrians don't go on it. I don't know. Um, we're gonna leave it because not my job. My job is to get the 15,000 people, which we're gonna do. And in order to do that, we need to make sure we have space for that growth. So let's continue adding that space. And with adding all of that, we're definitely gonna need more power. So as soon as I get to 80,000, I'm gonna put down another solar plant. So apparently there are certain individuals who brought hover cars to Mars. Uh, not exactly sure how this is happening, but they're fed up enough with the traffic that they decided to break physics. Okay, I can't take it anymore. Traffic literally isn't moving because of the pedestrians. So I'm gonna replace this with highway and see if that solves it. Okay, so it ain't pretty, but, uh, making it highway, at least they use both lanes now. And movement, and I like, I like movement, that's good. Also, it might just be getting better because the pedestrians haven't reached here yet. Well, actually, there's no reason for them to come this way because they can't use the roundabout. I really can't tell if we're making progress on this or not. 
I just know that cars are moving in here, which is honestly good enough for me. We're actually getting very close to 15,000, nearly there. Got a few messages around, some trash and whatnot, but all overall, done pretty well with having some pretty crappy infrastructure. 100% not my fault, by the way. And there we go. We have won the scenario. Like I said, if you guys want to try this out, I'm going to leave the link to the scenario in the description. Also, again, if you enjoyed the content, leave that like. It helps me the most. I mean, other than just subscribing, of course. And if you subscribe, I won't ship you off to Mars, I promise. And then my last request as mayor is to have you guys go watch some of these videos. Pick the one that piques your interest the most, and then let me know in the comments what you think. But if you've caught up on everything, I will see you guys next week. The roundabout does seem to be working though, by the way.